In the previous video, we went through how it was possible to download an ISO of Windows 11 without needing to be in the Insider Preview Dev channel or the Beta channel. I left you with this screen here, which is essentially the Windows 11 demo folder that I created. And I said there'd be this file here when it's finished downloading and, and creating the ISO for you, I said it would have a file just here. And there he is. So what I'm going to do now is jump into Hyper-V and create a virtual machine booting from this ISO so we can see how the out-of-box experience and installation and all that kind of stuff has changed with Windows 11. So in my virtual machine, you can see we have uh, currently going to boot from DVD if I choose that. And I've got secure boot enabled and TPM enabled, bit of RAM and, and CPU. I've got a new hard disk that's empty and a DVD drive that I have attached this ISO to. I've also got a network card. So we'll just choose OK and then we'll start. OK, well straight out the gate, this looks very, very similar to Windows 10. So we'll just go through these screens and I assume it's going to be really, really similar to uh, Windows 10 installation wizard. Activate Windows. So I don't have a product key. Oh look, there's a button for that. Good. I don't have a product key. And we've got a choice of Pro or Enterprise because that's the ISO that we decided to generate by uh, this, this UUP dump um, website in the previous video. I'm going to go with Enterprise because that's the one I really, really wanted to try and test anyway. So, yep, we'll go with that and then choose Next. Uh, I've previously read this agreement, so I'm happy to be bound by it. And we're going to do a custom installation and we'll just grab some disk space there. It'll format that for us. All good. Uh, not big enough, apparently. Below the recommended, I've only given it 20 gig, but we'll see how this goes. So I'm not certain, but I think the, the, the corners on this window here seem to be a little bit more rounded than they are in Windows 10. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at that and, uh, and confirm. But uh, that, so far, that would be the only styling change I've seen from the, the, the previous Windows installations that I've done in the past. OK, so while it's rebooting, I'll just say this video will only show the out-of-box experience and the installation routine that you go through when creating a Windows 11 virtual machine or physical machine from this ISO that we've just created. I'll do another video next, which will cover the autopilot experience and see what's changed with that. Oh, this is different. Yeah, that is new. OK, so they seem to have put a skin on the uh, on the the out of box here, which is really neat. So I'll choose uh, United States and yes. And we'll go with yes on this question. I'm not going to be using it and we'll skip the second keyboard. But look, it's got a picture of a keyboard and everything. This is very um, this kind of reminded me of of the the pretty Unix uh, installations I've done in the past. Very different. OK, so straight in there with sign in with work or school. Um, yeah, I like this. That That's pretty neat. Uh, so let's see if we don't want to sign in with work or school. Do we have any options to use domain join? Good. OK. And sign in with security security key. So I assume clicking domain join will um, not domain join it. It will take me to a, a local account where I can then do a domain join, which is what it used to do in Windows 10. So we'll test that out and see if that's still the case. So click domain join instead. Uh, and yeah, so it's going to help me create a local account. Um, OK, well, let's let's see if we can log in as Lucy Tester uh, using the online account that we've got. So. I chose the American keyboard, didn't I? So I assume this is going to work, but it's uh, it's good to see the whole process of logging in with an online account, which is how most users should be using um, uh, their Windows computer these days. So, okay. Still with the pretty interface, more questions about location. It's nice that they've put these in a list so that you don't have to go through 
so that you don't have to go through one after the other, sort of one screen, then another screen, then another screen, with single questions every time. Really irritating. This shows you the defaults. It shows you what's set. It gives you the information about it. I think this is a much better way to lay it out. Choose yes for all of those and choose accept. And let's get some updates. Back with the pretty screens. Okay, so um, it says we're getting you to the next, we're getting you the next version of Windows. Um, interesting. So it says take a peek at some of the new things we think you'll love. It'll take 30 minutes or more. Cause I'm pretty certain I downloaded all of the latest files just a few um, hours ago. So, interesting. Okay, well, we'll let this download and see what happens. It's giving us a nice slideshow of things that are new in Windows 11, which is quite neat. And uh, I can even browse through it myself. Cool. All right, while this is doing the, the download, it seems to be taking a little while, I'm going to click on the accessibility button and see what options we have here. So we have the narrate. This is the, this is very similar to the Windows 10 one. In fact, it looks exactly the same. So uh, this is the narrator, magnify, on-screen keyboard, high contrast, sticky keys, and filter keys, which are all access accessible, which are all available in the accessibility button. Okay, so here we are. That is uh, that is updated compared to a Windows 10 um, login screen for a user. But I've been using Windows 11 for a few weeks now, and so it looks familiar. I almost said that hasn't changed. But it has, so all good. Let's take a look at logging in. Uh, again, so it's, we're starting as Lucy Tester. Type today. And so this is the, uh, the VM asking me to um, switch to the RDP version of the of the in uh, of the connection, but I'll close that down. I'm happy to stay just in the VM for now, just to keep the screen the same size. Um, I'm really curious as to what version of Windows 11 it's updated me to by doing all those updates. So we'll give it a few seconds, then we'll jump in and take a look at the version. So use Windows Hello. Okay, it's good. Forcing users down that path is neat. Um, Lucy just needs to approve the sign in and we'll create a pin. Your pin must be at least 10 characters long. Wow. I wonder if that's a restriction on the get modern tenant or if it's uh, a standard with Windows 11 to need 10 characters interesting okay so I mean interesting we've got um, edge obviously we have word and Excel and PowerPoint I wonder if they're built in I wonder if they're the full versions because um, we've got mail and okay so we'll leave this for one second I'm just gonna click on Oh, Teams is starting. Uh, I'm just going to click on Start and then type Winver just to grab the version of Windows 11. So it's 21H2. Excuse me, Teams. It's 21H2, and it's the 120 version. So this, I mean, I thought that's what we what we downloaded, but let's um, let's leave that to one side for now. So as you can see, Teams is built in. It's got this button down here, and uh, Teams to want us to to crack on using Teams, so we'll we'll leave that to one side for now as well. And just back to this start me, I want to see what we've got in here. Is this the full version of Word? It does appear to be the full version of Word. Um, I'm just going to go and find the actual version. Uh, yeah, Lucy has a. Lucy has this license, and it seems to have installed the latest version of Office. Maybe it was downloading that when we were when we were waiting for it to download. Okay, so that is interesting. Anyway, so we'll leave that 
And that and that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to just go through was the out of box experience for a new installation of Windows 11 because I'd not seen it and I thought it might be interesting to show it to you guys as I was doing it. Um, next, I want I really want to test out autopilot, so that's the next video. Won't be too long for me to get that to you. So yeah, that's it. If you've liked this, please hit the like button or leave a comment or both. That'd be lovely. And other than that, I'll see you next time.